The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, this is Ken Gidge, and this is The Art of Politics. We're the only show of its type where a Democrat, the good Democrats, Democrats are good, of course, and the Republican, <laughs> who is, is, is kind of, you know, but we're the only show that has one or the other, and we argue back and forth, and we can't figure out why other people don't do that. And in fact, because we do this show, Democrats will not come on another show that I do, and he cannot get Democrats. And uh, I, I think I could get to, well, anyway, let me introduce Al mm -hmm. Belisar. Hi, you're my partner. Representative Gidge, it's always doing? a pleasure. I'm doing great. Uh, you know what it is? I've been, um, Democrats have filed complaints against me many times that they're intimidated by me. They don't like, they can't handle that Marine Corps you know, uh, way of uh, dealing with people, and you know, of I'm sorry. Of course, you imit you, know, you Of course, you stand over people. If they you, 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 you got this face that when you when you crinkle it up, you is, look like a. Is that newspaper. my fault that the you Democrats go, are weak? Mm, mm, mm. Like that. I've never, never I have once. I no fear of you. I never once threatened the Democrat. Never once touched them. Never once. You know, did then why, are they, why are they all complaining? Because they're weak. Their moms put oh, too much powder on their I butt see, when they were growing I up see, or something. I see. So what is the complaint when they go in? Uh, because, uh, like to Bill, the speaker, I take it? To the speaker. Bill, okay. matter of fact, uh, Speaker Norelli asked me to um, be nice over where I'm sitting at because some of the Democrats don't like what I say. What? Uh, yes. Did you didn't know that? That uh, some of the Democrats, I think it was uh, oh, Representative Oh, sitting Oregon, right in front of me. Right, yeah, okay. went and complained yeah. to the right, speaker. Okay. Yeah. Because I make some comments there on their votes and how they're taxing people. But who sits right next to him? Um, is Representative, uh, what's her name there, uh, sweetheart? Mary. There, uh, Mary Gorman. She's Mary a Democrat. Gorman. Who sits on the other side? Oh, is Robert Tabirds, another Democrat. No, I sit no, on you, the okay, other side. Okay, you're on the other side, too. Right. Right. But you, where you, we where you are, Mandu you have Mandu Tim Hogan, Mary, Mandu and Tabirds. Four Democrats sitting right in front of me. Three is have a sense of humor. One doesn't. And he'll get over it. Well, what other complaint? I'm sure <laughs> you, you are an individual who who projects. Uh, you you take things over. You will you will talk what's over what's people. Wrong with that? You will you, nothing. Not to me. I think this is great shows. Yeah. To be I, I, I think, with you. I I think like if they're saying mm. stupid things, they deserve a stupid answer. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. And you gotta you gotta. Bring it right to their faces. Oh, without a doubt, because I say stupid things sometimes. I'm not ashamed that, of that. That is true. Yeah, I don't. Like I'm right not now, I'm he not can, a scared. He can't figure you know, out why. You, Demo Democrats not you, complete. but many of Democrats no, whine. Did and, uh, did uh, O'Brien have to calm you down? A few not times? at all. He laughed when he got emails that said that uh, I should resign as the chairman. Imagine that. Wanted me to resign. The matter of fact, Buckley, your chairman, uh, wanted me to resign. They've attacked me over and over. And I'm running for my fifth term, so apparently it's not working. What, what? do you think of that? Well, but but let's let, let's get something really straight. <laughs> I know you. We sit we sit right. down here. We talk. We go and we back have and a friendship. forth. And we have a friendship. Yes, right. but you are intimidating. Mm -hmm. You just don't know that. No, I don't. I'm surprised. I yeah. mean, I I served 22 years. How come none of my Marines you, ever said I was intimidating? You do intimidate people. Yes, you do. Are they, what is it? Because the way I look at him is maybe no, 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 I'm a good-looking no, guy. I'm no, physically no, conditioned. See, here's, here's a perfect <laughs> example. You have to win every argument. 
No, there's no, no. There's no losing an argument. I want you. trust but verify the facts. It, oh, you see, here we go again. Trust but verify. So that's not, of course, when you're having a discussion with somebody mm -hmm. uh, or you're talking to them, uh, being like you are right now, uh, you don't see me put my uh, hands up uh, to you like that. Intimidate? Well, uh, trying to intimidate me, uh, getting close and stuff. Like I say, all yeah. right, okay. But you are an intimidating. Uh, I'm Italian, person. so I you speak with my hands. But but I think that uh, uh, I think what Norelli did this time, moving Republicans and Democrats mm -hmm. around, uh, was probably one of the better things. That, I think it worked because out pretty I didn't, good. I really didn't know who you were other than a big mouth who's down there complaining no, no, about no, everything No, you're not telling the, the truth now. You and I sat in election law. I mean, not known commerce. That's right. And uh, we voted on a major bill that dealt with alcohol, I think and it was. And guess who got in trouble for that You one. did, because you gave your word. If amendment worked, word. you wanted to compromise. So the Republicans compromised with you. We came in with an amendment, right. and you didn't go against and your word. No, and I voted for it, I was, right. which was the, the, the vote that, right? The, that helped the, pass it. That helped, well, pass right. it. Yes. And then what happens? Your Democrats got mad. No, they got mad at me. But we went down on a House floor, and I gave you my word, thinking mm -hmm. that I was going to get your word, that that's how it was going to work out. Right. Up jumps somebody else, throws in amendments, mm -hmm. uh, screws the whole thing up. I'm, I'm going, why, this is not what was supposed to happen. I gave my word that this was going right. to But anyway, we weren't it, happy it failed. With, no, right. that's we right. weren't happy either with uh, the amendment there. The the because like that. that rep had no business jumping up. Without working it through other Certainly people made in the me Congress. Look bad. Right. No, actually it didn't because you had nothing to do with it. I didn't think it made you look bad. It made other Republicans look bad too. So it had nothing to do with you well, because you gave your word. We gave our word that we would work and then all of a sudden this other person in one of the chains couldn't adapt to it, the compromise that was happening. It was a compromise. Right, yeah. And it, you know, it, it's a shame it happened, but it's over and done with. We'll move on now. I mean enough. You know, we don't have to be whining. Nobody stepped no, on no, you. No, 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 Nobody no, intimidated you. No, Nobody no, twisted no, your whining. arm. All right. Because uh, I look. think I voted the same way you did on that one. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, against it. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you did. So we, we voted for it and then against right. it. Right. We were for it before and we were against it. who gets in trouble? Mm -hmm. Me. Yeah. Not me. I Only never get Only because I decided that I think it's important that Republicans mm -hmm. and Democrats work with one another, mm -hmm. and oh, that doubt. compromise I got from you guys mm -hmm. were a big compromise, right. but the other Democrats didn't think it was mm -hmm. enough. They you didn't want what? it at all. If you look at a lot of bills that I sponsored, you'll see Democrat names on my bills. Oh, of course. Okay, I work hand in hand. I mean, even on veterans' bills with uh, Chris Roberts, Democrat. Oh, Him and I served in the Marines together, went to Desert Storm. Well, what you, of course you were. Um, then Robert Tabirds, another Democrat, the chairman. When I was the chair, I took care of him. <clears throat> When he's the chair, him and I, he work, we're friends, he took care of me, and we work hand in hand, Robert and I, on air bills. I just went with uh, Catherine Roberts, one of the biggest liberals at the State House, on two bills I co sponsored with her. Well, uh, why don't you bring up the bill regarding the canine bill? Because I think that's important. Well, um, I co sponsored a bill with Catherine Rogers, who's out of Concord, Democrat. Democrat. And it was dealing with canine, veteran canines and uh, search and rescue dogs, police dogs. Okay, to recognize them, and on March 13th of every year, to have a, a canine day, recognize these dogs that save lives. I mean, you look at, like, New York. They brought in these specialized dogs that can sniff bodies and other stuff there. You look at uh, Beirut, they brought in dogs that sniff the rubble looking for Marines. Under, I, 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 we under, you know, yes, I understand that. I mean, they, these dogs, it was a great bill. The, the point is, is that, that Republicans and Democrats did Oh, big you time. are not the only yeah. one. No, we, right, we've okay. worked together on many bills. There's, yeah, absolutely. Right. I okay. mean, just in my case, I can't compromise on the tax. You guys want 4.2 cents on the tax that you just passed, the gas tax? Am I supposed to say, oh, no, hey, I don't want that. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll go what, for half I'll the tell tax. you what, let us get through some things okay. because this tax thing right, is... Yeah. is that's and another, by that's the way, another show. If you yeah. know, if you notice, mm -hmm. coming up here, there were new uh, coats of... Tar on the highway from here almost to Manchester. It had nothing to do with the and gas tax. Oh, yes, it did. It had nothing to do. That's your toll roll. This is the toll roll here. The toll money takes care of over here, not the gas tax. No, toll um, roll doesn't. Because your city and town, Nashua, gets money from the gas tax, just like my town. My town gets almost 600000 a year. Let, let, us, let us move on to that. Okay. We'll, we'll come back to this. Uh, we got some really odd news. Now, my paper for over 100 years, my family, has had the what was called a Nashua Telegraph. Mm -hmm. And the Telegraph I still take, all right, uh, and always will. 
I don't agree with him, mm -hmm. but this is something I disagree. Now, Kevin Lanigan has been up in Concord as a Concord reporter in the newsroom, mm -hmm. up, in, Good up guy. in Concord. Mm -hmm. He's the only one up there. There is 50 stories. He can't do them all. Right. But he could do twice as much as he was doing. He tweets and everything. Right? He's unbelievable. He could, and it, the, the, the amount of work that he put out and puts out was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And yet, there was still more that could get done. So what did they do? They closed the Nashua newsroom up there. It's a large newsroom. They took mm -hmm. his seat out and his desk out. And Nashua no longer has a reporter with the second largest city up in Concord. So mm -hmm. I called Mr. Kincaid, who wrote the, uh, who, who wrote the editorial about Kevin Levin or, or stated how bad it was. And I said, what's wrong with you guys? I said, for God's sake, what are you going to do? Give us a 1-800 number to call if you got stories? So he had a little, uh, so I gave him a story, and I said, you're talking about transparency all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, here's a story. Right. The only one who would understand it would be Kevin. He said, well, Kevin hasn't really gone. I said, oh, he's still at the Telegraph? No, he's now working for? Mm -hmm. Bill, Bill Benny. Bill uh, Benny. A Republican. A Republican, yes. That's right. So we have lost a mm -hmm. reporter. We do not yeah. have a reporter. Up in up in Concord, and supposedly it's because of a money issue. And you know what I said to him? I said, you know, there is a tipping point where you stop take where you start mm -hmm. taking so much money away from a business. Right. All of a sudden, you become the problem mm -hmm. why the business fails. When you take out a Kevin Lanigan, the only person we have up there uh, in Concord, one mm -hmm. reporter in right. Concord. When you take that reporter out. Everyone comes up with a story or a story coming down. I said to him, what are you going to do, put up a 1-800 number? Right. What are you, you going to do? Mm -hmm. So I gave him a story, and I says, okay, uh, you want to interview me? Well, 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 think about it. I says, well, you talk about transparency. Well, you know right. something. And so Kevin's gone. Now, what do you think? I, you know what I think here? First of all, about seven, eight years ago, maybe, I, I used to get the National Telegraph. I used to, you know, read it and stuff like that, the Telegraph. What happened is they went too far to the left. Okay, your readership went down. They're losing money. Okay, no, that's uh, not the Kevin, that's this a, is what I believe. This, this is, is my opinion. Know, no, Nobody else is no, what I on, see. Hold on a second. Readership is down. No, you don't use the reason why readership is down. You asked me what it, I thought. I'm telling was, you, you don't well, want to hear what I thought? The prob yes, that's I do. That's the Democrat way, man. But I was the shutting problem this up. was it's right across the country. It that's has not, nothing to no, do. That, well, that's not true because uh, you, right why, the union leaders, boom, boom and there, I read their paper all the time because they're fair. You know, they go both sides. I wanted uh, the National Telegraph to go both sides. Okay, I, I like Kevin Lanigan. You know, he's a, he is a great guy. His uh, articles are always out there. But he is to the left. Let's be honest here. He is to the left. So the Democrats are losing a no, foothold. No, he's not Well, to he's, the he's, left. Yeah, he is. He's, he's a reporter. He's a good guy. I respect freedom of speech, and I read not, his articles. If you do not like what a reporter says now, this is a typical... So, I never said I didn't like it. This is a typical Republican I never said, response. I never said I didn't it's like It's because we're going to the left, or Democrats is going to the right. Because it should be fair. You you do not think that Kevin Melanigan has been fair with everybody? No, I think Kevin uh, has done a lot more uh, articles there that go maybe a little bit more to the left. And, uh, Your opinion? Versus, that's my I, opinion. I disagree with you, but I want to make you... We'll the agree to disagree. I, Is that fair? Yeah, no. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. I'm going to make you the president of the United States. Uh, I don't want to be the president. No, you are the president for, for one question. Okay, go ahead. Mr. Shoot. President. Okay? Mm -hmm. Well, how do you feel being president, by the way? I feel great. You feel great? That's right. Yeah, all right. A lot right. of things I could do as president. M Mr. President, uh, you had a decision to make which was pretty bad. The decision was it was to get the dam that ISIL had taken in Iraq away from them because if they would have blown the dam, they probably could have killed 100,000 100, people, right, yeah. like, it would have been a tidal wave going major down, disaster, yes. it would have taken out Iraq, mm -hmm. it would have right. taken out the police, it would have mm -hmm. taken out everyone, all right? right? But ISIS said, if you don't stop bombing us, we're going to kill somebody from New Hampshire, a reporter. Mm -hmm. Now, you have your choice. Is it to keep bombing the dam, or is it to stop 
bombing the dam and keep the life of the reporter that they murdered. I'd have to continue with the uh, mission. Because, the mission? Because the mission was to protect the dam. Okay, I'd have to continue with that. And the reason why I have to, the America should never, ever be blackmailed. I should never, ever be threatened that if you don't do this, we're going to do this. Okay, okay, so... Otherwise, we, uh, what are we going to do? And look, it was the, the worst of the worst. Mm -hmm. It was a beheading. Right. It was a beheading. What, look what Obama did. I say, he, what he, he gave five prisoners away for one, uh, you know, military. I'm glad the guy's out, but he was a deserter. Um... Well, you don't know that. No, I, I, you, you don't know that. To reading be, everything not, from the military you guys, you know that to be. You know, I'm a retired factual. marine, so we, I get a I, lot of I stuff know, from military. I, you get. You know, I get a lot of stuff that I'm you involved with. Republican stuff. No, no, I don't actually. No, I don't. Anything I, to do against Obama, right. you guys will pick it up and and make all sorts of excuses. Shame. No, on I should have five presidents. Mr. You president, know that? You, you, you're still a president. I have a couple more. <laughs> questions. Why are you trying to put me on the spot? Because you know what my my answer is going to be. My well, answer is the best interest of the country, Well, for, not, for, not Mr. any individual. Mr. President, you did send, I believe, three helicopters and probably 20 SEALs in to try to rescue them and the mm -hmm. president. Well, congratulations. I must tell you, Mr. President, I happen to agree with you uh, that the sad part of it is is that this reporter had been captured once before. It's a shame about that reporter. Uh, he was let mm -hmm. out. He went back to probably the worst of the worst. Right. All right. He was. It was. A, you know. He wanted to cover. You know. He wanted to show the the brutalness that's going on with the people in Syria. That was from what I understand. When I read about it, you know, with the guy from Rochester, um, Jim, what was his name? Well, let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Yeah. Bring okay. Name we won't bring a name. We okay. Yeah. But anyways, I mean, he was. He wanted to bring it out. That was his life dream to show to go, to go back. But. Just like when I went to Desert Storm, if I got killed in the battlefield, that's the job that I, I signed up to do as a Marine, okay? Uh, uh, that's life. I mean, I, it's a shame. I respect the uh, rest in peace. God love him. In my eyes, he's a hero to want to go over there and show the real truth. Well, he did that, and in fact, when he was embedded, as they say, mm -hmm. uh, there was a... Uh, firefight which he was in mm -hmm. and I guess they were in sort of like a tankish type thing right. and the person who was firing the gun got hit in the head with a bullet just winged him mm -hmm. he helped him down stopped the camera right. and, and mm -hmm. helped him so we must and you don't see that from too many reports no, no we don't, and don't? so so we, we we really want to say to his mm -hmm. family that we're, we're really sorry but oh, Mr. Without President, a doubt. I so you, you would know. agree that Obama did the proper thing um yeah I think uh, you know Without a doubt, you know, because we can never be held hostage. No. Now, you know, of course, I'm sure his generals and uh, the policies of the country helped him make a big decision because he realized he screwed up the last time without going to Congress and letting them know he was making a swap when America does not trade, you know, uh, uh, for yeah, yeah, we do. It, it, and well, that goes from World War II, that goes from Vietnam. Uh, yeah. they got, we, it was always a trade. I, I, trading, yeah. We're not trading money. They wanted the $140 verified. million dollars or something like that. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right. yes, we do trade. So that's that's not a big deal. We have, when, we have, we when, are we, when has America had a prisoner swap? World War II? Oh, World War II, yeah, no. Vietnam. No, Vietnam was over. Vietnam, oh, Vietnam was, no, was over. We gave our prisoners You're back and they, they got theirs. When were the right. swaps? But it wasn't I, for no, 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 to release no, somebody. No, no, no. There were, the war was going on and there were, was always prisoner swaps mm -hmm. for all sorts of reasons right. why. For instance, uh, World War uh, mm -hmm. see, Vietnam, uh, McCain. Mm -hmm. He was in, you know, what McCain was it? supposedly could have got out Hilton. early. They said mm -hmm. you may get out early because right. his, his father, father was, was a, an admiral. An admiral, and mm -hmm. he said, "No, I'm not leaving." Right, which I respect him for that. Yeah, I do. Right, but the thing is, we're going to agree to disagree on this here. But I hopefully everyone went right to their computer and do, did a Google search on the facts and look at any swap for terrorists that have gone on in the country. We, you know, um, everybody has done swaps. That's I, nothing new. You know, my 22 we, years as a marine, I've never ever seen it done. So it must have been done long before my time then. No, I'm sure it was done. You know, you don't. They, all these swaps aren't done in front of cameras, and there's all sorts of reasons why. Oh, they so do. you're assuming all, they've been done? All, then. No, 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 no. I'm Is not assuming. No, I'm not. You have proof? No, I'm not assuming. You have no. proof? 
I have proof that there's been <laughs> lots of swaps, but anything to, uh, to okay. badmouth the, the, the real President mm -hmm. Obama, you right. guys will get right in and trash Republicans the Republicans and hell Democrats, out of it. both in the House, went after the President, not just Republicans, that trashed the President for not letting them know what he did. And there were so many write ups on this here that said that you had no business doing this here especially uh, terrorists that killed Americans. You know, it wouldn't make any difference. Well, I, if I remember correctly, let's, let's try get this straight. Who, who but, uh, no, definition hold on, of hold correctly we use in the odds of I believe it was George W. Bush mm -hmm. who built a place in Cuba, the little edge of right. Cuba. Yes, which <clears> I support. He was also the mm -hmm. president that swapped, I think it was 125 uh, of these so-called terrorists uh, for other groups of uh, uh, people. So Mr. Mr. Bush Where did you get those started numbers? the war, built the place in Cuba, let more prisoners out than Obama. What he did was prisoners that were held for five, six years, whatever, four years, that were low, that were picked up on the battlefield, he let them out. But he didn't send them back into oh, the, Not that he let them out. What he did was he turned them over to other countries. And they were low the, the other, terrorists. The other three. Because they had no case to put a tribunal yeah. together on these guys. No, they, so they let them go. The problem is they do have cases, but they don't want some of the information coming out, uh, such as and, waterboarding. And so, how do you know do that? You know how do you know that? Yes, I support it. You support waterboarding? I support waterboarding, yes. Why? Why? Because it saves lives. I, let me put it this how way can, here. How can you Are you be familiar sure? with military training, sure? uh, fighting from building to building? How can you building? be sure? How? Because it's a history. It's proven throughout the years on um, torturing to get information. Talk to some of the okay. Vietnam. How, talk how to, did we let get, me ask you something. How did we get to the point can I ask of you something? talking about torture as being good? Why? I can tell you why, because it saves American lives. When you're going from house to house, and you got terrorists that you don't know, that everyone looks the same, and you capture people in a home, before you move forward as a platoon sergeant, I want to make sure I get all the information I can of who's out there, okay, in other homes, well, so we can move forward, because you save sure, American you, you lives. Know, you know, Did you ever serve? You, no, you, you guys... Yeah, have you ever been in the no, military? Never, never, then you never, really never, don't never. know that. Oh, excuse me. You Exc don't know. Excuse me. I, no, no, hold on a second. You are military, very important. Yes. Your bosses happen to be us, the American so, people, okay? So you want American so, veterans killed then? No, Is that no, what you're no, telling no. me? No, no, You it, want them killed? In fact, I believe the statistics have shown mm -hmm. that they will lie, and they know they're going to be Can you tell everyone where to so find those will, statistics? They will lie. Can, now, you tell me the Bush, statistic where, where it has worked. Yeah, look at the, yeah, um, the, the terrorists, the information they got in Guantanamo Bay. Supposedly they came here in America, they found terrorists here in America. Through the names and stuff yeah, they got yeah. through them Water guys. Water the guy 100 times. Look, I'm so not... So you think that's uh, humane? Would you rather Americans dead? Would you, or would you rather do what you got to no, do and get information I out think, of a terrorist? I think, what it, I think what people are saying, people who have a little more sanity than mm. you at this very moment, because you are a soldier, okay? <laughs> no, I'm a Marine. Say I'm not a soldier. this does not I am a work. U.S. Marine. Waterboarding mm. does Do, not work. I believe work. it does work. Well, okay. We'll agree to disagree. Okay. I believe... Like, uh, the, the, there's some things that have gone on in Iraq with uh, Marines going from house to house to get information. You'll be shocked. But now they're all scared about being court-martialed, and look at all the debts. Look what's happening over there in Afghanistan. Excuse me? Yeah, look at the many it, debts it, that have uh, gone uh, on uh, over there. Uh, hold, because hold, you got to read them their rights. Obama wants you to read them their rights. That was also a war mm -hmm. that Mr. Obama did not start. Oh, here we go again, and blame he's Bush. he's trying to get here out. Here we go, blame Bush. And as Bush. a soldier, you would have, I'm not a have soldier. boots on the ground. Can I clarify yeah, this? As I'm a Marine, not a soldier. You would, you would have boots on the ground by yeah. now. Yes. There we go. Yes. That, thank you very much. I'm very happy you as said a, that. Yes. This is a Republican. Do you know we have boots on the ground in, now in, in Kuwait? In, instead of trying to do things mm -hmm. in a way where there is no war we, or go in on a very small way, you guys, wait, boots what is on this, the ground, what is a small, let's have wait, more people Can killed. you define what's a small way? Is that boots on the ground? Define small way to you. Well, I'll, tell, that you boots what, on the I'll ground? tell you what. They they have probably a thousand people over in Iraq right but now. But is that boots and, and, on and the what, ground? And what, and, and, oh, okay, and so what they're doing is they're finding places where 
uh, the drones uh, mm -hmm. and the planes uh, can hit. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I think of uh, not boots Is on the ground. Is that boots you, on the ground? When you put down and you stop building a military mm -hmm. base, that's boots on the ground. Now, are they special forces? Yes. Are they forward observers? Yes. Are they fighters that yes. are prepared, right? Yes. So that's boots on the ground. Well. That, that's, what's the difference in what I just said? Boots on the ground. No, that's not You true. have to, in order to hit targets, you know, to get good intel, you have to have boots on the ground. We know that. Okay. But we are not the ones mm -hmm. who took them out. Okay. And we, by the way, uh, we're not the ones, by the way, who mm -hmm. said the wall will be over at a particular date and month. Mm -hmm. Okay. That happened to be Bush mm -hmm. who said that. No. Well, you, can, and, I, can I clarify uh, something real quick? Bush gave them a date to be out. But Bush did not say 100% out because we knew we're dealing with a country that's like a stone age. And you know, we know if you pull out 100%, oh, it's see. suicide for these countries. You ever I, been there? I see. I've been into Iraq, not all the way in, but I've been to Kuwait. I've been to Saudi. I've been to Bahrain. I've been to Turkey. I've been to a lot of these countries. And we should have, the, been, we should have been over there fighting anyway. Do you realize it has nothing to do with Bush or you know, Obama? You, it's religion you guys, and they want you, us you, dead? You want to know something? I think Obama's going to go down as one of the great presidents. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, one of, one of the very great presidents. Because I don't think he's going to leave with a war going on. I think it'll probably so, be what it is right now because you cannot let ISIS, for mm -hmm. instance, having people owning this dam, mm -hmm. you can't do that. It makes no difference. That was so that made four, him a great five, president, four huh? or five countries. That made no, him a great president. Not, huh? not, not putting uh -huh. uh, an army... Yeah. Our battalion on Protect the ground. Protect the bridge, but yes. never mind all them Christians that are being slaughtered. Good job, Obama. Oh, yeah, you're right. I, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Good job, we, Obama. We bombing, Protect that bridge, but leave those Christians. Let them get killed and slaughtered. They were not Christians, by the way. Oh, they're not. No, oh. they were not. The ones on oh. top of the hill. Oh, they weren't, huh? No. In fact, I, oh. I looked up their religion. You must have some it's good called Yanis. You must have some good intel. Did you listen to this? You know, their the religion is six thousand two hundred years old. Yeah. I never heard of it. Yeah, I never did either. Never heard of it. I mean, I'm guilty of it. I never heard of it either. Well, okay. You know, but uh, all the reports said, that said there was Christians up there, I, and they were slaughtering I, Christians. I believe we don't want war. Did you see We do not want... Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. We can't go around the world and be the policeman. Mm -hmm. We can't be the bully constantly. I agree. People are saying, why didn't you do something in Syria? Well, it's good a civil answer. war. We have good, no business being answer. in there. Civil war. Guess who's supplying arms to Syria mm -hmm. is Russia. Right. And by the way, it's a civil war. Well, what I mentioned, Russia, mm -hmm. do we have an ambassador in Russia? I, yes, I think we still do. No, yeah. we. I don't know. Do, don't. Has he been sent out? The, uh, no, there's no ambassador you know? in Russia. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. Hold I on said a second. I think that. I don't know. Second. Obama brought on somebody up to be uh, before before the House to be voted on. Mm -hmm. I think a year ago. And then we have no ambassador, mm -hmm. right? The person, I, no ambassador in Russia. And I got a question: Do you think right now we need no. an ambassador in I Russia? I want you to listen to what and you just said. And why are you Republicans not Wait voting? I want you first of all listen to what you just said. First of all, the House of Representatives, okay. And if you want, you can look it up in the uh, Constitution. Does not vote to uh, ambassadors. It's the Senate. Who controls the Senate? Who controls no, the Senate? No, 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 no. Who no, no. controls the Senate? They throw the House. No. It has to be. It has to be brought up before it's sent into the Senate. <laughs> We're politicians. You don't even know that. The, read the you Constitution. Don't even know that. Oh, God it goes sakes. in front of the Senate. All right. Uh, he, here, here in the United <laughs> States, we have had uh, mm -hmm. a black person who is 18 years old, Ferguson, wow. in Ferguson. Uh, is it Illinois, uh, mm -hmm. Missouri? Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, it's the town is called mm -hmm. Ferguson. An 18-year-old uh, was shot six times by a police officer. As we all know in this country, as uh, we up mm -hmm. here, we know what took place. Well, actually, uh, we don't. We don't have the police side. Uh, you, I'll, I'll correct myself. Yeah. We know what took place after the fact. Right. We know the people. The riots right, and everything else, right. but we don't know the whole story yet. We don't know the whole story. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they show the kid, who's, by the He's way, 18 big, years big old, guy. six foot four, yeah. robbing a store right. with a little uh, Korean guy on the store, grabbing cigars or something and pushing the, the guy out of the way. That's that. I'm sure his parents are not happy about that, but... Uh, an hour later, he's he's dead. Right. 
No. So your opinion on this? My opinion is to wait until the reports come out because you're innocent until proven guilty. And matter of fact, there has been, uh, did you see the video I posted on my uh, Facebook there about the, the black uh, sh sheriff, uh, female police officer, who in a, a paralegal, in a wheelchair, she pushed him over on the floor. And it's all, it's all out there. But you don't see anything. You don't see riots in the street over that. You don't see looting going on. There's no reason. We're a nation are of you, laws. Well, are you trying to say what I'm trying that to say is this was a black person, because this was a black person, there's they, no they, reason. They, they I, have, I have Americans, uh, black Americans in my family that are married. My sisters, okay, um, they're Americans to me. They were all just, you know, of a different color. Right. Okay. But the bottom line is, is that reason to loot? Is that reason to smash windows and destroy property? So or, or is it reason to wait? We have moved away from a black woman pushing someone over. What I'm trying to say is you don't see white American or Italians, Mexicans, uh, Chinese rioting like this here. Could I'm you, hoping the black community could, come together as you one. you see at all that the police officer had any justification for shooting somebody I, six I can't, times. I can't pass judgment because I read something there where the, the police officer took a beating, okay? I don't know how the facts in. I, you know, because some things that are posted out there, you don't know for sure. So I'm not going to pass judgment because I believe both of them are innocent until proven guilty. You know what I mean? They have to investigate. That's our Constitution. You know what I'm saying? So I can't pass judgment. But what I've read, I don't like it. If it's true, then the police officer had every right. If it's not true, then the police officer should be charged. Well, six shots, we know that is, is, is a lot of shots, but mm -hmm. we also know when you pull the trigger, it's... No. So Depends six on what type is, of weapon he's got. Yeah. But the problem right. is some of the bullets are going down like that, mm -hmm. so it looks like the kid was on the ground or, mm -hmm. or on his oh, knees. Oh, was he on the ground? Or was the officer on the ground? And he's shooting up, no, they're coming you know from the back. In fact, one from the front, one from the back. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I see. I haven't seen uh, the autopsy. I haven't read the autopsy. I just know it's a shame that it happened. But the thing that I'm sad about, and I think it should never happen, uh, first of all, the black activists should be out there bringing people together as Americans, not looting, not pushing, well, you know, think, the Black I, Panthers I, I and other, they, the, no, no, the stuff I, that's I going on. The, that's a disgrace. I think, that's an embarrassment. I think a lot of the black activists were out there, mm -hmm. uh, but there was a lot of mistakes made. For instance, they're going to have a... a uh, Everyone has to leave the street at midnight, mm -hmm. and you can't come back till six right. in the morning. Why wasn't a dust to dawn? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the curfew. Every curfew. Mm -hmm. Everyone right. off the street. Right. To dust to dawn. I mean, really stupid. Right. Things. I know. Really, I, I, really, no, I really agree. dumb. And the thing. governor there all of a sudden come out and made some bad statements there. And then I coming over, I was listening to the lieutenant governor uh, that was going against the governor. Because, you know, once again, we have a Constitution. We all take the oath to uh, defend, you know, the Constitution. So and what does that got to do with because this? Because what it has well, to do is the governor of wrong? that state went out and said that the police officer, you know, are prosecuted and all this here, that uh, the family deserves justice. I agree they deserve justice. Right. But you can't make comments that the police should be prosecuted when you don't have no, all the that's particulars. that's not what he said. And I really wish you wouldn't. Why, really did, wish you why would, did the really lieutenant really governor, who's a Republican, that. come out against them? Because it's a Republican. No, that's and not it's, true. And it's elections. Because we take the you, oath of office you guys, to the Constitution. The, the, the Republicans, 10 mm -hmm. years from now, we're we're all going to look back and we're going to say, how in the world did Republicans get away with that? Or Democrats get or away with it. How in the world Democrats didn't stop it? Or how did Democrats get, get away with it? And how did Republicans uh, couldn't stop it? And that is how our show works. <laughs> <laughs> right. hey, you're always saying the Republicans, the Republicans. There we go. You know, we why, take, don't, why don't people do more shows like this? I, I don't understand it. I try to get my representative, Lisa Whitmore, in my town to come on board. Yeah, She's the only got, Democrat. Yeah, but you and cry she, she, and you yeah, the, the same I, things all the time. When I see her all the time, I give her a hug. She's a friend. You know, I give her a fair shot, but like I said, there's no fair if, shot with you. I do my homework. I'm the only person who can I, handle you I read. because I talk over you like you talk oh, over me. Geez. I keep you no. on track. You hey, would like to jump I, off. Can I run something by you to get back to the war for a second? Here we okay? go. Okay. Right. Do you know Obama when he took office, he changed the rules of engagement? Talk to some of the gold star mothers here in London, Derry. Okay. Okay. When I say the rules okay, of engagement... Okay, hold on. Gold Star mothers or mothers who lost... Lost their children in Correct. the war. 
Now, there's why, a gold star mother here in, in our state, uh, that the Navy SEAL's mother. The change of because what I'm saying is it's causing the gold star deaths. Mothers. The rules of engagement to read, to give them the oath. I mean, the uh, what do they call it there? Your rights, uh, Miranda rights, and when you capture somebody on the battlefield, okay, you got veterans that are scared because of if they do something wrong, they can be court-martialed. Their career's gone. Well, you okay, don't want, the rules you know, of engagement have changed. We do not want people massacring people. There's certain areas you can't even have rounds in your weapon, okay, when you're in the green zone, because and you've got people, friendly people, in there killing Americans. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I, thank God I don't no, you're, serve you're, see, anymore. You're, you're, I'm telling you a fact. Re, no, Republicans are really good at it. And what no, you, I'm talking what, as a military what, guy. What's, what's you, yeah, I know, but what you did, you mm -hmm. started with the gold star mother. Right. Uh, because, rules of engagement. Because there's Mrs. Healy green, in town. Green zone, military people can't put have bullets and guns. You, You're so full of you it. You have a gold. No, You're so full no, of I'm it. No, I'm not. Talk yeah, to any military are. guy and in your you town to serve. wonder why. Talk to any young you military. You wonder why people go to the speakers and mm -hmm. say you're intimidated. Uh, <laughs> talk to, uh, I, I'd like you to talk to any veteran from my, you know, Iraqi veteran, or Afghanistan veteran, and ask them about rules of engagement. There's a gold star mother going around the country talking to her lost her son because of rules of engagement. Okay, we have uh, Mrs. Is she Healy. a Republican? Uh, no, I don't even know what she is. Yeah. She's a, a mother, uh, a proud American yeah. of her son. Right. I mean, going around and, and, I, and has and nothing I, to do and with I'll Republican. And I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll tell you what. A gold star mother going around talking about she stuff, wants, stuff, stuff, she stuff, wants stuff, stuff, stuff. answers on her son, but, just like Benghazi. But, but when it turns out to be politics involved with it, this isn't politics. I'm sorry. You this lost isn't your politics. son. Don't make it politics. No, that's a, but she it deserves answers. Politics. She deserves answers just like the veterans' and moms that got killed in Benghazi. They deserve answers. Moms and dads need to know why their son died. There's no reason for it. And I can, and I not can certainly it. understand why they and elect you all it. the time. And I have a because son. Because you have a way of changing. <laughs> I mean, you're so so good at that. Well, let's let's uh, go back about the the the, uh, the the do nothing, you know, federal uh, Obama. Congress right. of doing nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, uh, the the Republic, about the Republicans. Yeah, the so Senate. Republicans right. okay. left good. I'm without, glad you said, yeah. putting, without putting without uh, putting right. up. Uh, a bill so people could have uh, 10 or 20 more weeks for unemployment. Are you happy with that? Am I happy with that? Yeah. They wouldn't even vote on no, that. You know, some. Can you, they let wouldn't me ask you something. No, no, answer the question. No, I, wait a minute. Answer, well, answer the question. You know, Is that okay for you that, that the Republicans yes. do not bring up? So, yes. it's okay yes. that the people out there don't get their no, 20 no. more weeks. No, no, I'm sorry. The people out there, you're talking to give them another extension of 20 years. They already got two no, years. Tw no, or 20 no, weeks. 20 weeks. 20 weeks. They already got two and years. Where does or three the years. money go? When does it stop? Well, wait a minute. When why, does it stop? Why wouldn't you vote on it? Because we have programs out there. If you there. voted on it and you feel so strong and you're so right, everybody would vote you know for some, you. The de no, please, don't. if you think I'm wrong on this, please don't vote for me, okay? I'll tell you straight up. I'll go fishing. But the bottom line here is that do you Democrats want to continue to take taxpayers' money and keep people unemployed? So that way there, it's you, a guaranteed you, 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 vote. You know don't go to work. We'll pay you. Guess, Stay guess home. What? We'll keep extended. don't have the jobs also. So don't That's make a, bunch of BS. a fool out we don't, of this situation. Republicans don't create jobs. And guess what? Government don't create that jobs. That money that comes of four or $500 mm -hmm. goes immediately okay. into the system. And guess what? People can't pay their mortgages. They can't get a job. And it goes worse and worse and worse if and worse. If you can't worse. find a okay. job and it's that long, you've over two, three okay. years, you, and you want another 20 weeks, so we have welfare programs is, to give you a hand it up. It is okay Not that, a hand that up. the Republicans wouldn't bring it up for a vote. Because you're using... Okay, excuse, excuse me. Yes. You wouldn't bring it up for you, a no, vote. No, I would not because okay. you're so you, using... Okay. So that means if the Republicans wouldn't bring it up for a vote, mm -hmm. are they worried that the majority of the people would vote for it? No, I don't think they're so worried they were, about it. No. Okay, let, the Democrats wouldn't let, either. Did the us, Senate do, bring us, it up? Let us no. do, let us do one what, more. Did the Senate go home? I, I, Wait, did I the Senate you. go home? Did the Senate go home? Did Harry Reid go home? Yes, he did. Okay, thank you. I rest my case. Okay. Okay. All right. uh, one, one more, and then we'll go back to talk to what you want, because this just absolutely drives me nuts. Here are... You know I was endorsed by the Liberty Alliance today, by the way? Uh, huh? 
I just want to let you know that. Uh, I was endorsed also. Okay, yeah, for, by the Liberty. <laughs> I was endorsed also. Here you also. are talking about taking liberty. People are at liberty. You know? Here you are, uh, that's right. Here you are talking about want to keep people on the government dole. No, no. But go no, ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> Excuse me. When you say that, you know what you forget about? What's you that? forget about there are people in Londonderry, as there are people in Nashua, who could use, mm -hmm. you know, maybe that 20 weeks more or maybe five more weeks when or six it, more weeks. When does it end? You would not vote on when it. Does it. No, okay. I, I, I cannot vote because when does it end? And, uh, when do you stop going into the yeah, taxpayers' okay, money? Okay, but you wouldn't vote on it. Okay. No, because you got to keep Are borrowing. Are you afraid? No, I'm not afraid if of nothing. If you're not afraid, then why didn't you vote on it? Because there's no reason oh, to. Oh, okay. There's no, so, there's I mean, no reason it, it, to bring up another spending it, it, bill it, without it, any revenue to support it. Is this a democracy? It. Yeah, but there's, there's it's no... It's a democracy. If there's no projected revenue... So you revenue, stop the democracy. Did the Senate go home? You stop the democracy. Did, did the Senate go home also so nothing could get done anyway? And anyways. one other thing while we're yeah. on, uh -huh. what you didn't right. do. Well, look at look at Speaker Norelli. Look what she's doing right oh, now. Hold on. The Senate, we're doing a veto day. The Senate's doing is in the beginning of the month, we're on the 17th or the 18th, whatever day. So we can't come together uh, on I, the vetoes. I, I, I will, I Look will, at Norelli uh, here will, in the state. I will let you finish with that, but let's go back to one other thing about the, 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 no, the no good, <laughs> well, you guys do, the facts. do nothing <laughs> Congress, okay? Uh, student loans. Mm -hmm. uh, student loan by federal law cannot be refinanced. Mm -hmm. A refinancing bill came up that which meant that everyone could refinance mm -hmm. their loan. You, mm -hmm. I the support. Republicans, I think they, no, that's not true. did not no. vote for it. That's because there was too you much other BS in put it. Up, <laughs> no. You wouldn't put it up to vote on it. Mm -hmm. You didn't. You had an opportunity. That's not true. And no. all of a sudden, so guess what? Because it's not a clean wait, bill. Wait, wait. You keep talking about America, and America is good, and we're just, and we're a democracy. Put up a clean Put it bill. Up so can vote Put on it. Put up a clean bill with Put just that. Not with all this other baggage and spending on wait, the bill. Hold on a second. I, if it's such a bad stuff that they put onto it, yes. then definitely the majority want to vote for it. Uh, no. Then why didn't you put it up for a vote? Because why would you waste it once again? Oh, why would you put something how about up with doing all, something? Because it has to go through the committee. How you about want to bring doing it up? something? Because like Democrats' the, mentality, the, the, like, the, the, you the, want to bring a bill up to vote without going through committee. You did it already. You had Medicaid it's, expansion. It's, it's, right, okay, it didn't go wait, to Congress. I, I, you sorry. did it here in oh, New Hampshire. On a second. You want to do Excuse it in Washington me. without if it any. Go, if it's up for a vote for a bill, it didn't go. It, it, it go needs through to Congress. go through committees. It did go through committee. No, it did. It's, you, you know that. You it's can't still get a bill up there without going through committee. In Washington, what you, what in are you Washington talking about? D.C. Washington D.C. But here, Medicaid expansion here in New Hampshire. Let let us. Did Commerce yeah. Act on non Medicaid then, expansion? Then let us talk about one other can thing. Can you answer Mr. my question? Republic. Before yeah, we go there, <laughs> can you answer my That's question? Go ahead. Did Medicaid expansion here in New Hampshire go to the proper uh, committee, Commerce? Yes, it did. No, it didn't. You're yes, right. it did. No, you're not telling the truth. I'm not telling Why are you spelling? Why are you smiling? Truth. You're not telling the truth. Be honest. Be honest. Uh, yeah, it, it no, went it through. And you guys held it no, up it for didn't. you guys held we it up for no, two we years. Sixty one percent of the okay. women who uh, and you guys are having uh, problems with women. You're not being honest. And guess what? You're not being honest. It yeah, went to ways okay. and means and finance well, let's do, together. I guess so, ways and means was pushed since out. Since I got you all fired let's yeah. do one more. Immigration. Immigration. Right. Close the borders, and by the way, send them back. And by the way, that happened to mm -hmm. in an immigration bill happened to bipartisan. The bill is there. Everyone How's agrees upon it. Why didn't you bring it up for a vote? How many how many trillions of dollars did Obama? Bring it up for how many a vote? trillions of dollars Why did Obama didn't want? You bring it how up many trillion? Can you answer me first? How many trillions of dollars were there that Obama wanted? Was it three point something? Trillion? Excuse me. Did he want three point two? Bill Where is, so is the money coming from? Bad. If the bill is so bad, it's got to stay in committee. You put it up to no, vote. No, you don't. It, Oh, okay, no. so it's not a democracy. The, no, Washington so the is totally different in the way New so Hampshire So the Democrats works. are, and we don't you know, have, some, and we don't have a, I think a, the American an ambassador people, in Russia because they won't vote on it. I think, now, why? I think why? the American, do ask we Senator need Reed. a Russian, ask Senator do we need Reed. a Russian? And, and, ask Senator oh, Reid why. I see. The Senate handles that. Those, oh, no, 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 it had to go through Congress. Ask Senator Reid. No, it had to go through Senate, Congress. Do you want me to pull the article out for you under the uh, U.S. Constitution? Uh, we got, we got two minutes. We got Two minutes, okay. Now, 
under the the bills, the American people would be so pissed if they weren't vetted properly through committee. Now it's not like New it's, Hampshire. It's, it's, we have me. deadlines. I got news for you. We have deadlines. You guys, okay, and I mean the Republican politicians in Concord have a Concord, excuse me, uh, in, in in Washington have a, a rating of thirteen percent. Take my That's word for it. That's why Carol Shaveport has got to go take in, in Custer. My Word That's for why it. Custer and Kelly shape the people go. wouldn't think any worse for I'm it glad we than agree you guys with this. voting for something. I'm glad we agree with no. this because Kelly shape Porter and Custer has to go. You're right, 13. No. percent They not only not have in the to Senate go, too. We have to get more Democrats in there because the Republicans the, have yeah, screwed we have this three, whole country up, and everybody knows we it. have three Democrats up there: Senator Shaheen, Kel Custer. How can people get in touch with you? Albarbasau.com or six zero three. Four two five six nine nine seven. Or stop by by my house in Londonderry. Yeah, all right. On and telephone Facebook. number. I right, six zero three four two five six nine nine seven. Okay, my name is. How do they get in touch with you? Um, thank you very much. <laughs> all right, my name is Ken Gidge. Uh, you're running for political office. I'm running for political I'm running office. For state and rep. by the way, the person who's voting against me, I want him. Um, he's going to come on the air. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk this out because that's un very unusual. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to do that. But you can get me. I'm on, uh, you can get, uh, go to Gidge World. That's a, a, an app website. You can get me on Facebook. Also, my telephone number is, if you'd like to call me on the phone. And we give these things out. 864 9332 And that's about it. Yeah, they can call my cell phone, too, by the way. Uh, and I'll give that out if we have time. <laughs> Seating program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.